Hello again, my name is Gabe Zolna. One of my viewers uh, by the name of Remini sent a rather interesting article posted on the Inquirer. And this was put up on March the 12th. This is March the 13th, 2019. You know, if you watch some of my videos, I had said that uh, the FAA feels that the 737 MAX 8s are safe to fly. At the same time, Boeing said they're making some software fixes. Hmm. And I had said that uh, they sent out a directive instructing pilots uh, as to what to do if a certain situation develops. And that was after the first crash of the Boeing 737 MAX. I had said that by them doing that, they've pretty much sealed their own fate. Boeing 737 MAX 8 pilots complained of suspected safety flaw months before Ethiopia airline crash. Written by Carl Espinwall, Ariana Gloria, and Don DeFibio, Dallas Morning News. In Dallas, pilots reportedly voiced safety concerns about the Boeing 737 MAX 8 to federal authorities, with one captain calling the flight manual inadequate and almost criminally insufficient several months before Sunday's Ethiopian airline crash that killed 157 people. An investigation by the Dallas Morning News found. The Morning News found at least five complaints about the Boeing model in a federal database where pilots can voluntarily report about aviation incidents without fear of repercussions. Here are the Boeing 737 MAX 8 flights out of Philadelphia and what you need to know about them. There's a few links you might want to take a look at. The complaints are about the safety mechanism cited in the preliminary report for an October plane crash in Indonesia that killed 189. It's exactly what I said, folks. The disclosures found by the Morning News reference problems with an autopilot system during takeoff and nose-down situations while trying to gain altitude during flights of the Boeing 737 MAX 8. While records show these flights occurred during October and November, information regarding which airlines the pilots were flying for at the time is redacted from the database. You sort of wonder why it's been redacted. Huh? You know, they redact things they don't want us to know. I said in previous videos that I believe that it's the sensor, the sensor for the attitude indicator. And what it does is it creates a nose down situation, which we saw what occurred in the most recent crash. The plane climbed to 2,600 feet and went down to, I think, 1,600 feet or 1,200 feet, and then went up again. Records show a captain who flies the MAX 8 complained in November that it was unconscionable that the company and federal authorities allow pilots to fly the planes without adequate training or fully disclosing information about how the systems differed. The captain's complaints was logged after the FAA released an emergency airworthiness directive regarding the 737 MAX 8 in response to the crash of Lion Air Flight 610 in Indonesia. The FAA spokesman said the reports found by the Morning News were filed directly to NASA, which serves as a neutral third party for reporting purposes. Tuesday's evening, the agency issued a statement from Acting Administrator Daniel K. Elwell saying that it continues to review extensively all available data and aggregate safety performance from operators and pilots of the Boeing 737 MAX. Why don't you wait until the data is established off those black boxes, huh? Thus far, a review shows no systemic performance issues and provides no basis to order ground in the aircraft, nor have other civil aviation authorities provided data to us that would warrant action about saving the lives of innocent people. A federal audit in 2014 said the FAA does not collect and analyze its voluntary disclosure reporting in a way that would effectively identify national safety risks. U.S. regulators are mandating that Boeing upgrade the plane's software by April, but have so far declined to ground the planes. China, Australia, and the European Union have grounded the 737 MAX, leaving the U.S. and Canada as the only two countries flying a substantial number of the aircraft. 
Senator Ted Cruz, who leads the Senate subcommittee overseeing aviation, said in a statement Tuesday that U.S. authorities should ground the planes. Further investigation may reveal that the mechanical issues were not the cause, but until that time, our first priority must be the safety of the flying public, Cruz said. At least 18 carriers, including American Airlines and Southwest Airlines and the two largest U.S. carriers fly the 737 MAX, have also declined to ground planes, saying they are confident in the safety and airworthiness of their fleets. American and Southwest have 24 and 34 of the aircraft in their fleet, respectively. The United States should be leading the world in aviation safety, said John Samuelson, the president of a union representing transport workers that called Tuesday for the planes to be grounded. And yet, because of the lust for profit in American aviation, we're still flying planes that dozens of other countries and airlines have said needed to be grounded. The fifth complaint from the captain who called to question the 737 MAX 8 flight manual ended. The fact that this airplane requires such jury rigging to fly is a red flag. Now we know the systems employed are air prone, even if the pilots aren't sure what those systems are. What redundancies are in place in failure modes, I am left to wonder what else don't I know. Folks, you want to read the rest of the article? And uh, they're going to be in for a world of hurt, they meaning the FAA and Boeing, if another one goes down because they didn't ground them. Totally insane. Anything for profit. They don't care who they kill as long as they make the money. I hate to say it, but tell me where I'm wrong. Stay off the planes until we find out what caused them to crash. Once again, I don't believe that the aircrafts are flawed. I believe we've got some software issues that need to be resolved. And the training manuals are obviously inadequate based on the captains, some of these captains that have flown these aircraft. You think not? Well, think what you like. I do. I want to thank Remy for sending this article to me. I hope you repost this in all your social media accounts. Thanks for listening.